sleepy head. Oh. <laughs> He's saying hi. Thomas likes to sleep under his mattress sometimes. Hey, handsome. He just woke up. Oh, big stretch. We had quite the night. We'll get to that. If you're not Canadian, here's a, I wouldn't even say fun fact about Canadians. It's like a can be dangerous fact. Canadians are notorious for being polite. Great, I love that. I own that, I appreciate it. Lots of people who come to visit say they can't believe how nice we are. But, it gets to a dangerous point with driving because people will be like, you go, no, you go, no, you go, no. And then like they go and then it's like dangerous or, you know, say you stop for a jaywalker. Well, that's illegal. And then that can cause an accident. So just now I was trying to back out of my parking spot and everyone was just like tentatively waiting, but tentatively going. I was like, if I reverse, I'm going to smash someone. So I don't have the right of way. <laughs> so funny. Good morning and welcome to another episode of the marathon. Life is not a sprint, it is a marathon. And oh yes, ma'am, it is a marathon. So, as you just saw, I woke up Thomas at 8.15, got him to therapy on time. We were up at two until I think he fell back asleep around 3.30, and I think I fell back asleep around 4, and then I woke up at about 6.15, I think. Oh, excuse me, and then I had to wake him up. So, incredible that he went back to sleep. But I, and like, great that I went back to sleep too, because I was starting to get a little bit nervous. But I was very emotional in the middle of the night. Like I was in Thomas's room from about three till 3.15, no, sorry, two until 3.15. Just like laying beside his bed, making sure he didn't get too amped up and hoping that he would just like relax enough to fall asleep. And I was just like sobbing, <laughs> like just in like desperation and exhaustion. And then when I went back to sleep, I had dreams in which I was crying, but I was like screaming, but no sound came out and just like sobbing. So I think I was crying in my sleep as well. I'm pretty sure. So that was something, <laughs> um, but we're okay. Now Thomas has autism therapy for a couple hours. And like I did a couple days ago, I am just going to be present today and do what we need to do if we need to nap, which he shouldn't need to because he slept in. Um, if we need to just have some downtime, we're just going to take the day as it comes with very low expectation and everything will be okay. I am heading to Canadian Tire to take some photos. I try and go there quite frequently to take pictures of stuff that's on sale and promotions that they want done because I run their local Facebook page. So that's where I'm heading right now and then I'm going to go home and do some work. We're back in the car. Thomas is now here with me and uh, I guess I know you want to see him. It's 12.30, we're heading to meet Vanessa for a little sushi date before Thomas's haircut. And I just wanted to mention because like I always do, uh, if I'm going out, you know, afternoon, mid-afternoon, I went to check my makeup because I thought like, oh, I better repowder, I better re-blush. And I didn't need to do either. Like my face still looks great considering I did my makeup at like eight. The powder I'm using is by Essence, so it's like $4, it's cruelty free. I think it's a dupe for the Too Faced, like poreless press powder, and that's like $30, $35, and this one's four or five at the drugstore. 
and it's cruelty free. And then the blush I used is from that e.l.f. palette. Also cruelty free, free, super affordable. I was at Winners, it's a, or not Winners, Walmart. The blush quad, I showed it in both my Saturday and Sunday vlogs last weekend. And I think it was $7 for four blushes. So I am very impressed. All I had to do was finally put mascara on because I thought, well, I could at least do that. Yeah, so that's a double win for cruelty-free, drugstore, affordable makeup. Just wanted to mention that before we head into lunch. Oh my gosh, old school NSYNC, amazing. Okay, this one is gonna go get his haircut. It's back to school slash I'm a ring bearer haircut. Thomas is just having a little snack. He did really well in his haircut. I just caught up on commenting on your comments and I just wanted to read off this list because it's, it's crazy to me. Um, I asked in a vlog where you're from and how you pump your gas because these are the things that I want to know. And these are just a few of the places that you guys are from. Puerto Rico, Croatia, England, the Netherlands, South Florida, Portland, California, Nova Scotia, Alberta, Connecticut, Colorado, and Belfast. Welcome to the Marathoner family. We are international. It was just like so cool to read your comments and see that. Uh, I'm just waiting for a meeting. The woman that I'm doing the merch with, she is on her way here. And we're gonna go over some of the details, which I'm super excited about. Had a really nice sushi lunch with Vanessa. Again, I forgot to film it. I find when I'm out for lunch or a meal with people lately, I just, don't think to film, I just enjoy myself. So um, yeah, I can't show you any of this meeting, but stay tuned, because the merch is, it's coming. And it's gonna be great, it's gonna ship internationally, don't you worry, wherever you are, if you want some marathoner stuff, it will come to you, so stay tuned. It's the same old story as it is every night, but except now we have my oil humidifier, humidifier oil diffuser. I'm about to put, paint my nails this Essie's uh, Blanc, because tomorrow night I'm going to a dinner on block, so I figured I should have white nails. Watching some Will and & Grace, and I've already washed my face, that's why we're all shiny. And uh, I'm gonna say goodnight. It was actually pretty cool when uh, Thomas was getting his haircut. A marathoner came in to the place where he was um, to buy some Evo stuff because I had talked about some Evo stuff. So um, that was really exciting. It's always so nice to meet you and see you and chat with you and um, yeah, so that was really cool. I forgot to mention that earlier today, but today was a good day, uh, considering it started with a pretty rough start. And now I'm just gonna be kind to myself as I am every night and tuck into a little this and a little will and grace. And I'll see you tomorrow. Lace up and become a marathoner. Subscribe to my channel, join the Facebook group, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye.